Hey Aries, how you doing? Going to get into your reading here for December. Hope you guys are doing well. General read, so take what resonates here and let's see what messages are coming out here for Aries. And if you guys are interested in personal readings, that information is in the description box down below here. Starting off your reading with the Eight of Wands. All right, well, Sag energy. Eight of Wands is changes. Maybe there's something that you're you're doing here that um, making some changes in your life, but it's also communication. So and it's fast energy, right? So it could be some communication as well. Let's see what's going on. You have the Three of Wands here. Something you've been waiting on here for quite some time. Um, let's see what this communication is all about here. We have a tower. Let's see the focus here for Aries. The star. Oh, well, you got somebody that, that's going through... Well, obviously, we have a tower here, so there's a change. The star here, um, you know, typically is wish fulfillment, hoping, praying, but also a sense of healing, right? So th there could be someone here that is going through um, an ending of some sort here and trying to go through healing. Um, let's see. Possibilities here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Let's see the near future here for Aries. We have the Seven of Swords coming out here. Let me see the power. Your feels here. We have the world card. Interesting. Let me see your environment here, Aries. The Eight of Cups. I think your last uh, your last reading here was something about somebody wanting to communicate. And the energy is kind of still there, but we got the Seven of Swords here now. It's like there. I'm picking up an energy of. Um, kind of jealous or maybe like getting having some sort of envy here let me see the potential outcome we have the knight of pentacles coming out as a potential outcome here so i have the seven of wands underneath it kind of feels like there's so there's an energy here that um and this could be you flip it if you need to here but something happened here with that tower right we're going to clarify all this but there's someone wanting to communicate with somebody here. Someone's been waiting for communication here, but someone's also been going through reflection and healing. But at the same time, it's like seeing somebody moving forward here because we have that Knight of Pentacles up here. There's a sense of like deception going on. So I don't know if this person is um, acting as if everything is fine. That could be it too. Maybe that, you know, something changed here in their life to where they're just showing everybody that everything's, you know, perfect and everything's great but actuality they have this nine of swords energy here they could have been walked they walked away from someone so let's see what this tower was all about here so you know if this is you aries i mean that's i'm not going to change what i said i mean this could be something that maybe you are stressed out and you're worried about something here but you're not trying to show everybody it's like moving in silence which is fine there's nothing negative with that energy but at the same time, there could be something that you're trying to avoid, which you need to focus on, right? A sense of healing here that you're trying to uh, move away from, okay? Let me see this tower here. We have the moon, all right? So we I'm doing this reading here on the Gemini full moon. So there could be something gets exposed, okay? Now, I'm not going to... You guys know how the story is going to go in your life here, so... Um, don't get triggered if I'm talking as if, you know, you, you are this person, Aries. It's not my intention to trigger you. It's just a sense that this is easy for me to read this way. But there's a tower. We have the moon. There's secrets that are exposed. Something has been released here, okay? We have the eight of wands, a lot of communication. We have the three of wands. Someone has been waiting for this shit to happen for a long time. That's really what's going on here. And we have the star here. So there's a sense that whatever's going on, puts somebody in this healing type of energy a lot of reflection going on here it's like if the truth came out or some sort of secrets was exposed someone's looking back at a, a situation and trying to replay in their mind what happened it's like they're just relooping in their mind the exact words the situation what this person was wearing you know the, the environment the you know what the weather was looking like they're really putting themselves back in that time frame but with that Seven of Swords energy, it's like they know they need to heal. They, they need to communicate. So either this could be like someone wanting to apologize, wanting to communicate some sort of truth towards you, whatever it is. 
there's a sense that someone needs to do that, but they're trying to say, you know what, maybe I can move away without, you know, saying anything. Or maybe I can even come towards, you know, Aries without saying anything. Or maybe Aries, this is you saying, maybe I could just deal with that, you know, just I'll just throw that, I'll forget about it, whatever it is, what it is, and I'll just walk away, right? But it's kind of saying here that somebody here is trying to um, push away the healing process. And that is reflecting on the situation and accepting the truth for what it is. Okay, it's kind of like someone not wanting to see the truth here, or at least avoiding it. Okay, it's like the tower and the moon is there, but somebody doesn't want anyone to know about it. You know, it's like they want to move forward. Eight of cups walking away. I want my son. I want my happiness. Right. I want no drama. I'm done. You know, but I don't want to tell the truth. I don't want to come up. I want to keep everything to myself. I understand the truth. I see the truth. It's illuminated here. The secrets are out. But I don't want to share that with that person because if they find out, what are they going to think of me? I won't, I won't have this new beginning. You see that? Someone's trying to hide something here. So let's see. Either way, they're keeping them very stressed out in this Nine of Swords energy. So let's see this Nine of Swords. Let's start there. We have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let me see. And the Nine of Swords is communication too. It's like... This person knows that they have to communicate something towards you, Aries. I kind of feel like someone is trying to communicate something towards you. I was trying to not let you off the hook there, Aries, but you're kind of off the hook now. It kind of feels like someone someone, someone wants to give you news on something, but it's stressing the crap out of them. Ooh, that popped in my head. Okay. I have to say this, Aries. There's a sense that... Um, Somebody may have done something, um, you know, like, they, okay, I'll put it this way. Like, there's someone that needs to communicate towards you something that is going to be very heartbroken for you, but at the same time, it's embarrassing and ashamed from their end, okay? So whatever that is. I'm not going to go into details because of general readings, but for some of you guys, it could just be communication of that, of something like that. There's something here that they may have... Well, let's see. Let's see the Seven of Swords here. It's like everyone listening right now is kind of like they made their own conclusion what it was already. All right, so let's see the Seven of Swords. We have the Four of Swords here. Let me see this Eight of Cups. You have the Knight of Cups. Oh, interesting. Let me see this Knight of Pentacles then. The Three of Cups. They want to re reunite here with you. I was saying that Knight of Cups is very... Um, you know, the outcome, and it's also a slow energy. And over here, I was saying someone has been waiting for a very long time. This is this opportunity, this this night of pentacles energy, you've been waiting for a long time to come together with someone. Okay, three of cups. This eight of cups, walking away from a situation, coming in with a knight of cups type of, type of energy, wanting to offer something new, wanting a new beginning. But this person went through probably another connection, I see the King of Wands underneath here. Either went through another connection or they did something like behind your back here, okay? And this doesn't mean they romantically engage with somebody. It's just the sense that they, you know, maybe they said lies about you. Maybe they said that you've done this to them. Or, you know, when, you, when they actually are the ones that did something to you. You know, it's like those type of things here, right? You see this Four of Swords, yeah. They're thinking about this connection here. They know it's a soulmate energy, a soulmate type of connection. Um, two of Wands, it's like they're, they're trying to make a decision here. Judgment. Let me see the star. The Page of Swords. This person is going through healing and they're keeping a close eye on the Aries. Six of Cups. And it said seven, of cu seven of Pentacles, Six of Cups, they're also reflection type of energy. A lot of replaying back in the mind of what happened. Something went down. To where this person didn't see the truth and when the truth came out they're rewinding their mind and they're thinking about exactly how it went down like literally that's 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 what this person is doing and it's like bringing they know this news or this this apology or this whatever they're coming towards you is stressing the shit out of them you know but they do want this connection do they want this three of cups energy <sighs> damn i was gonna say it earlier too Empress, there is a sense that someone, I was going to say it up here, but I kept going with it. There could be, not for everyone, very small amount, maybe one, there could be pregnancy involved here, okay? There could be pregnancy involved. There could be a situation where someone engaged in something else 
that person is now having to deal with that and that's the information that needs to come to you but they're stuck in another situation that they don't want to be stuck in because the truth came out and they realized they were kind of manipulated and played in some way okay it's trying to avoid that but uh but it's going to come out all right so anyway let's see the three cards overall here any sort of advice i can give you guys anything else coming out for aries I mean, I feel like that, you know, it might just bring a healing situation for both of you guys here with that star. Um, and again, guys, these are general readings. Don't, you know, I don't want people flipping out here, but I have to read what is coming out. And um, I think it's going to bring whatever this communication is coming towards you because we have the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords here. So this is going to be a fast communication, very direct communication coming towards you. OK, but I feel like it's going to release you guys into moving into either. You know, still, I see a Three of Cups energy. I still see, you know, a, a union coming together here. I don't see that like you guys are just separating and there's going to be a big issue. But you know, at the same time, it's going to be heartbreaking here. There's disappointment here. Um, so, uh, you know, th there's something here that just going to catch you off guard here. All right, Aries. We have the Empress coming out again. And we have the Knight of Wands. So I kind of feel like... It is going to free you up, Aries, into just moving in a totally different direction. Um, it could also be that, you know, that Four of Wands and the Empress and the Knight of Wands here, it's also an energy of you realizing your worth. And I feel like you've already, like, I don't want to repeat that because I feel like a lot of you guys are listening, you've already, you're in that energy, right? Um, but it's like focusing on your foundation here, Four of Wands, your your stability, the Knight of Wands, having fun. Also, like being single and free and having a good time, you know? It's like this energy of like, you've been waiting for something to happen. You've been waiting for some sort of apology, communication, whatever it is. And it's like you finally get the answer. You finally get the truth. And it finally puts you into a healing here, a sense of reflection here. But there's also a positive side of moving forward. And like in this energy of being free, it's like... You may, be, may have felt tied down to something here for quite some time, but it brings this new beginning here for you. Um, in an odd way, you've been waiting for this to happen. Or you kind of had this nudge, intuitive nudge, nudge that this is going to come towards you. It's a soulmate energy. That's why I feel like there's no, there's definitely heartbreak. There's definitely like disappointment here. You know, it is it news that you don't want to hear in some way. This person that's giving this news is stressed out, okay? They're trying to think about how they could tell you or how they can come towards you without telling you, but I think it's undeniable. It's going to be uh, expressed. But at the same time, there's for some reason there's been a separation enough to where it's going to be, could be a friendship or just, you know, let bygones be bygones type of energy. And I feel like that's been coming out for you guys lately here. But uh, yeah, with the moon and the tower, it seems like some secrets have been exposed here. So something has been finally illuminated, okay? And it's more past energy too. So it's like it's happened. It's done. So whoever this resonates with. So that's what I got for you guys. Um, I just feel like, you know, maybe this is something they've been waiting on to where you could just go travel and, you know, uh, experience new things, maybe even meet new people. You know, it's like it's a it's like a green light to, to move forward here, Aries, okay? And maybe a lot of you guys that are listening to that saying, I've already moved forward. I'm already done. I'm already with another connection. Um, I just feel like energetically it's going to release you even better. And that Knight of Wands is a more like I'm free type. I'm, it's this freedom type of energy, you know. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, all right. So let's see. Your Oracle. Um, we have Goddess Dewey Shri. It says, um, I embrace wisdom, joy, and prosperity. So that is your oracle card here. This is the water temporal, temple oracle. Um, so it is number 19, so I'll kind of read this here a little bit, not the whole thing. It's kind of a hefty book. Uh, let's see. There we go. Um, so the flow words that this gives, it says, ask, receive, and give thanks. It says... Um, the goddess for, um, crops, grants, wishes, and endures, ensures the fruition of your dreams. Her appearance brings reassurance that the resources you need are available for you. Trust the seeds that you have planted, tended, and watered are coming to fruition. Everything has a cycle and, and season, and your time is to sprout and flourish is now. 
choose to live in a devoted grace to attract a bountiful harvest that you can share. Conscious connection with the wider world reduces burden and division. Generosity enriches life and unites the community. Nobody goes hungry when Diri Shri's life giving rice is shared amongst everyone. When you are aligned with your passions, prosperity is natural side effect. Listen to what makes your heart sing, as awareness from your true essence restores a deep sense of purpose and vitality. Happiness is a state of gratitude. Claim your inner joy, and prosperity is yours. Okay? So that is your oracle card, guys. And um, if this resonates, hit that like. I'll be coming out with some more videos here very soon. So um, if you guys have not subscribed and you feel like we vibe here, hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. And um, if you're also interested in the uh, the decks that I use, the microphone, I have a link there for Amazon if you guys are wanting to look into your first decks or anything like that. So that's, an, that's a good opportunity. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll see you. You guys have a good one.